hey cuties welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm blessing asemota a youtuber based in kaduna the crocodile city and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back to watch my video i always tell you guys you guys are the real deal so on today's video we'll be talking about a few things you should not say to a new mom or women generally or a few things you should not do to a new mom so without any further ado let's dive right into the video so the first on my list here is don't kiss a new baby like trust me most of us are guilty of this like when you go to visit a new mom and her baby please with all seriousness seriously don't try to peck the new baby on the forehead be it on the cheek please avoid doing that yes you are strong yes you are medically fit you are okay blah 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 yes you are but please try not to do that it's not even cute to look at their hormones is far different from ours the way they react to things is automatically different from ours because they are new babies their system are not really matured like ours so let's try to resist from that urge i know some people will be like babies are cute newborn babies are really cute and the rest of them i know you are tempted to do that but just give that baby a air kiss like just give that baby a air kiss you don't have to go to the forehead you don't have to go to the cheek it's really not cute in my own case i really did not ex experience that because i was waiting for that person that would do that to my baby i really did not experience that because i did not go out that much when i give birth to my baby practically when i go out it's always i and hobby so i really did not go out to meet crowds or meet some certain kind of people but trust me i was prepared and i was waiting for that person that i think i was having that conversation with a friend of mine that gave birth to i think a month before i was i don't know if she randomly posted that on her instagram and i'm like i'm waiting for that person like it's really not attractive so that's how every mom feels if they don't come out to tell you that's how they feel it's really not attractive i know you're watching this you feel like ah can i even do this you can if you try it once you try it the second time trust me the third time you get used to it you will not want to do it if it's your baby fine turn that baby upside down pick that baby do whatever you want to do but if it's not your baby try as much as possible to resist from it so the next on my list is so important to me like, don't ask new mom about their delivery method like it's uncalled for you are supposed to be happy that this woman came out sound and healthy from the delivery room the baby is healthy the mom is healthy like it's something to be happy about so what's the point asking them oh what kind of delivery method did you use did you give birth naturally or did you give birth through cs like it's uncalled for some people are like oh you give birth through normal delivery oh glory be to god so the people that give birth to cs are they insane what happened to them like there's no normal delivery there's no abnormal delivery every delivery is from god every delivery is perfect because they brought an amazing soul to this world some people are out there praying to god that they go through the the process of normal childbirth some people are out there praying that they go through the process of normal cs delivery so any delivery is normal any delivery is perfect for any mom just stop this at once if you do that after listening to this video after watching this video cut it off from your carrot at once the next one on my list is do not compare mothers like trust me a lot of people do that like a lot of elderly people do that a lot for the fact that they've gone through all this experience they've gone through childbirth experience they know a lot of things about how childbearing can be but they still do it so stop comparing another mom to a particular one it makes that mom feel uncomfortable it makes that mom feel emotionally blackmailed or emotionally down even if they don't come to your face to tell you trust me they feel that way there's a statement they normally make oh she gave birth and she became so slim oh she gave birth and she became so fat like i don't understand if you know what it means to give birth if you know what it means to carry a child for nine months and successfully give birth to that child and your hormones start to fluctuate let me use the word fluctuate like never like your hormones start to change you understand what it means like i said some people have really gone through this thing but they still compare 
another particular woman to the next one is really not nice i like using this word is really not attractive it's really not cool do you know the sleepless nights do you know the stress in giving birth to a baby no time for yourself like let me use myself for example my baby was so hard on me like she's this kind of person that hardly sleeps at night so i'll i'm always awake so you come to my front and tell me ah you're so fat oh you're so slim oh god i pray that i don't have that urge to slap you trust me like it's so annoying it's so annoying everyone hormones acts differently so what's the point of you saying oh your tummy is so big oh your tummy is this oh you've gone out of shape you look so shapeless like that's been immature trust me like let's come to reality that's been immature there's a lot of things that you want to see but just try as much as possible to swallow it take it in and don't even say it what's there to say oh you look so good oh you look so fine it takes nothing out from you some women will be like i gave birth and trust me within two days i snapped back i came back to my ship huh so who cares allow us that did not snap back to snap back at our own time you don't have to pressurize us you don't have to make us feel down you don't have to make us feel uncomfortable allow people do what they want to do allow people be themselves everyone has what works for them is it that this is working for you or this is not working for you or is that this is not working for you and this is working for you so the next on my list is asking a new mom or mothers when next they'll be having their other child or when next they'll be having another baby like is that even right is that even good to ask whenever they do you will see the outcome on them what's the point going about oh, your baby is one year now oh your baby is two years plus now when are you giving birth to the next one? Oh, your baby is three years now when are you giving us another one? Oh, you've stayed too long but this is your baby four years now when next the next one coming as what as my husband that you are whenever i'm ready you see if i decide to even get pregnant when my baby is nine months it's my choice if i decide to get pregnant when my baby is six months it's still my choice it's nobody's choice to make for me so what's the point asking people when next are you having your next baby when is she a factory why are you being so expectant is she a factory that's you trying to poke nose on people's affairs that's you trying to poke nose on people's life like that's disgusting that's really really uncalled for so let's try to resist from that urge if you try to ask them just look for something to divert that topic to the next one don't ask that so the next on my list is do not compare baby size or even comment on your baby size a lot of people do this like everybody i think most people are guilty of this a lot like when you see somebody else's baby you'll be like oh why is your baby too fat what are you feeding her with what have you been giving her to eat like i don't understand or you see someone else's baby or be like oh your baby is too slim uh -uh. is she not eating don't she eat every baby comes with their own body some baby might be fat now as time goes on they'll be back in their shape they'll be very slim some baby might be slim now as time goes on they'll be chubby so who are you to start asking questions who told you she doesn't know her baby is small who told you she doesn't know that her baby is fat who told you she doesn't know that her baby is chubby she has eyes she can see you don't have to put it on her face you don't have to put it on her skin resist the urge to ask unnecessary questions so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do please don't forget to comment down below. Feel free to tell me what you think on the comment section. Tell me what you've been experiencing on the comment section or what other moms have been saying that you don't find attractive. Let's communicate on the comment section. And don't forget to share this video out to your audience. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.
Been drinking alcohol for the past five days. 